I'm going to create a new user in two different ways. The way you might do it if you're running Windows 10 Home, and then the way you might do it if you're running Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise or Education. So let's start with the way you might do it if you're running Home version. So I'm going to start by clicking the Start button and then going up here to Settings. And then I'm going to go down here to Accounts. I'm going to go to Family and Other Users. I'm going to add someone else to this PC. Not a family member, but someone else to this PC. Now, in this case, uh, it wants me to add somebody using a Windows, or a, I should say a Microsoft account. So I don't know somebody with a Microsoft account. In this case, I just want somebody by a name. So I'm going to click, I don't have this person's sign-in information. And now, since I don't have a phone number or an email address, I just want a name. So I'm going to click Add a User Without a Microsoft Account. Now I can add the name. So we're going to add a name, Abby Lomax. Abby Lomax. And for a password for this example, we'll just use the word password. Of course, we would never do that in real life. Capital P A S S W O R D, capital P A S S W O R D. Now for security questions, I guess we have to have some sort of security questions. I don't know if it'll let me bypass these. So pet's name, spot, um, security question two, where were you born? We'll just say Vancouver. And security question three, what was your childhood nickname? We'll just say Abby. And we'll click Next. And we are done. Abby has been added. All right, that's the way we would do it with the home version. Now let's take a look at the way we would do it with a pro version. So I'll just right click here on Start. And I'll go up to Computer Management. Now you will not find this in your home version, but I'm going to expand local users and groups and I'll click users. Now you can see Abby Lomax that I have added. And by the way, I will delete Abby Lomax because I'm going to add that now. So I will delete that. And now we will add it this way. I'm just going to right click here and say new user. I could also do it under action here, by the way, and do new user either way. So new user, Abby Lomax, and then a password. We'll confirm that password. Just the word password there with a capital P. I'm going to uncheck user must change password at next login, create, and we are done. I'll close that and Abby has been added. That's it. It's much easier in the pro version than it was with the home version.